Hey guys, Jill from Whole for Life and Rip. Um, this is Sunday, October 5th, I believe. I wanted to give you an update. <clears throat> I've put a couple of still posts out, but I have now been in contact with Shelly, also in contact um, through Shelly with those that are um, very much on the ground doing the work in the areas in which you all have been so generous to give. And so I wanted to update you on that. Initially, she and I spoke last night um, and uh, she kind of thought that maybe the direction we should take um, at this point would be more um, financial or monetary donations to be able to get cleanup crews in and work and that kind of thing. There is one house that um, I told y'all about in the beginning with the elderly couple that um, he had cancer or has cancer. She is very ill. Their house, I posted a picture of it. It's basically just part of it has ripped off the other part. So that is an um, uh, immediate situation that needs cleanup and um, having a tough time getting people in there to do it. So that is where the monetary donations that I've given her to this point, <clears throat> that's where they're going. But we were under the assumption that that would be the way to kind of turn and gear toward uh, as we progressed throughout the days and weeks and months even, um, that cleanup would be the place and having money to be able to pay these cleanup crews. Many are leaving their jobs um, or don't even have jobs to go to anymore or, you know, and so we wanted to make sure that we were able to give um, as much as we can toward the cleanup efforts and help the guys that were doing that. However, after she spoke with Tyler and got more information about the needs on the ground, it still very much and again, I want to take this opportunity to, to say, please keep in mind, I know there's a lot of information out there on the internet. I am not speaking of the greater Asheville area. I'm not speaking of, uh, I know I heard from someone who lives adjacent to Swannanoa today. They were saying that they do have military presence and they do have aid in that area, both uh, private as well as governmental. So I'm not speaking about this uh, hurricane incident as a whole. I'm speaking about the small little communities and areas that we are individually helping, that Whole for Life is involved in. That's the data that I can give you because that's the data that I know because we have been there uh, and are continuing to be there. So having said that, those areas still need generators, fuel cans, and um, power cords, things of that nature. That's still the primary need, not the cleanup yet, because as you know, as someone put it to her, we're just not there yet. I mean, these people still need the basic fundamentals. So, excuse me, so I would say that what we're planning to do, now certainly if you have a generator and it's in good working condition and you know there's no issues with it, whatever, you wanna bring it and drop it off at Whole for Life, we will absolutely donate it. Uh, I am making very clear that these are donations though, so it's not a borrow our generator situation because we are, are not there every day, all day. We have no idea you know, what will happen. I know that right now what's happening in that community, which I think is a beautiful thing, we certainly did not give any of this with any sort of strings attached to it, but what the community is doing is as one person doesn't need it, then they're giving to the next person paying it forward with the generators and the fuel cans and all of that um, or they're coming together and using you know using it together with their resources or it's just a beautiful thing the way the community's handling all of that but they do need more he said they definitely needed more generators they definitely need more fuel cans um, i would like to continue monetary donations though for fuel as well because as i told you yesterday shelly and her husband david have been uh, funding that entirely we were able to give them a little money toward that yesterday but um, they're funding that and they're going and picking up empty gas cans or fuel cans and um, giving them full ones taking the empty ones going and filling them and taking them back so I mean talk about the hands and feet of Jesus this whole community uh, is coming together and doing that but but so the primary need still remains to be generators um, a young lady reached out and told me um, a business here locally that i can talk to about possibly getting some generators and hopefully even at a better discount than what we're getting now although we're very thankful for what we're getting now but generators are expensive so <clears throat> that's what they need fuel cans if you have some and they're good not leaking good working condition um, want to drop those off at whole for life you can 
any power cord that would be acceptable for a generator. Uh, those are the ones we need, and those are the ones that are hard to find. Stacy and I bought, between here and Anderson, we bought every one we could find um, between uh, today's Sunday, between Friday, Saturday, and today. So um, maybe they'll restock. Maybe there's more in stock now. We haven't gone um, this afternoon and looked, but those are power cords that are needed. Um, and then, like I said, the fuel cans. We just went to Lowe's and Home Depot and we bought them in the packs in which they came. So at, at Home Depot, I think it was three to a pack. At Lowe's, I think it was four to a pack. And we just bought the whole bundles. Um, I think we did nine the first day, 12 the second day. Uh, but they still need more and they need more generators and he was very clear about that <clears throat> so wanted to let you know that so if you can give monetarily to the whole for life venmo which i will attach in the comments or if you can um if you want to write a check um then you're welcome to drop that off at whole for life we'll be open tomorrow monday i think probably stacy will be there about 9 30 um through uh, four and then we're open Tuesday Wednesday Thursday as well Thursday we're there till seven uh, Tuesday we're there till six so if you want to drop a check off please feel free to do so please do make it out to whole for life but also in the memo section it's very important that you put Hurricane Helene relief donation or charity or whatever however you want to word that but it does need to be noted on your check if you don't and you drop it off we will note it on the check um, so just so that you're aware and um, Again, we feel free to do it however you want to do it. Cash, of course, you can always bring cash. We're not writing receipts or anything like that. I just don't have time for that. We're still trying to run a business ourselves. So, um, but anything you can do in the way of generators, power cords, fuel cans, that is the imminent need. Eventually, I'll be honest with y'all, come back to you, I'm sure, and ask for monetary donations for cleanup. But that's, uh, as he said, we're just not there yet. We still need to get these fundamental basic needs met. So, wanted to update you on that. So many people have come out of the woodwork and asked me. I probably have over 100 messages right now. I'm sorry I cannot get to all of them individually. So please, please, please share every video I post if you'll share it. Because every message I'm getting, I, I just don't have time to respond to. So <clears throat> the clothing... Um, we can accept clothing now. We're trying to do it in a very orderly fashion so that things are going to the people that need to be going to them, but that they have a place for them and that kind of stuff. Clothing, bedding, blankets, things like that, they are requesting that they be in black trash bags with like a piece of masking tape or painter's tape or something on the outside listing. Um, if you want to list the type of clothing, you can, but at least list sizes. So, you know, small, medium, large, eight, size 8, 10, women's, men's, whatever. Bedding, same thing. You can just put a little label on there that says blankets um, or sheets. And if you want to put what size, that probably would be helpful. Some of them do have mattresses and a lot of them don't. So anything you can send in that way before the cold snap, I'm sure is going to be appreciated. But if you can just do it in that organized fashion, we would really appreciate that because there's not a lot of hands in this community um, that are able to help. And so the less work we have to do, the better. The more organized it is, the better. So that they can just take a whole bag. What size are you? okay, here's what's in here, you know, um, you need blankets, okay, here's the bag. That way we're not having to go through everything um, two and three times. So if you want to donate clothes, please drop them off to Whole for Life. We will be going back to Hendersonville multiple times, So, um, but we want to try to maximize our loads. Um, Estes Heating and Air, again, great, great friends, wonderful company. They've offered to go as well so that we have, you know, more trucks, able to take more things at one time but again keep in mind these roads are not great that we're traveling on and i don't look for them to be great for a long time so we want to make the most of our trips <clears throat> so and generators take up a lot of space so um yeah so i just wanted to update you i'll probably make another video i thought 10 minutes would be enough but um generators uh, power cords, fuel cans, clothes, and if it's clothes, please put them in a black trash bag and label the trash bag as to size and gender. Um, again, thank you all so much for everything you're doing. I can't believe the, I can believe the generosity of the people in this community. 
helping another state, but we just truly, truly appreciate it and thank you. And again, please keep in mind the information I'm giving you about the no support, no help, um, beyond the local community help, that is about the areas in which we are dealing with personally. I do not know about the larger areas. It's my understanding they are getting more support and more help, um, but I don't know anything about that firsthand, so I'm not going to speak on that. What I'm speaking to you on are things we've either seen with our own eyes or I trust implicitly the, the people that are giving me that information because we're going into the area ourselves.